Hi and welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. We are at the Belfry again today in the Tallamay Performance Centre and in this video we're going to look at a couple of reasons why you might be struggling to get your weight through on your golf shots. So just before we get into the video, please make sure you go ahead and follow me on my social media platforms. The details should be sort of down here about now. You've got Facebook, you've got Twitter and you've got Instagram. You can follow me on all of those. It's a good way for you to get in touch uh, and it'd be good if you could suggest some videos that you would like me to film going forward. Uh, it'd be good if I could offer some content which has actually come from you guys, um, you know, so a little bit more specifically based on some of the questions that you ask. So go ahead and follow me on those. So falling back so let's just go through and hit a shot and let's just show you kind of what we're talking about and then we're going to go through maybe a couple of reasons why that happens so i've just got a mid iron here got a seven iron and we are looking at the golfers who feel like they finish their golf swings like this okay so you can see how i'm very much on my back foot i haven't really got much weight onto my lead foot and therefore i struggle to get my back heel off the ground those golfers are often very very aware that they need to finish like this but there are many golfers out there who are desperately trying to do that and just can't do it. Now, as you can imagine, there could be 20, 30, 40 different reasons why this might happen. We're just gonna go through one of those reasons today and it might make it a little bit easier for you to understand why that's your problem and why you actually can't get your weight through. So those golfers would probably very, very happily make a practice swing and feel like they can finish like this. They feel like their weight is shifting onto their lead foot. They feel nice and tall at the finish, nicely balanced weight on that front foot. However, when the ball gets put in there, they always seem to have this finished position where they're very much on their back leg, okay? So if you feel this is you, and no matter how much you try, you can't get that weight forward, we're gonna hopefully go through one of the reasons that could be causing you to hang back onto your trail leg, okay? We're going to look at the golf swing from a slightly different angle first. We're going to turn down the line and we're going to look at the plane or the path of the golf club. So, many, many golfers out there will have potentially a nice back swing shape, but as they start down, the golf club gets moved too much out this way. We get the club way, way too steep on the way down and we get a path which is excessively left of target. Okay? Those golfers are probably going to struggle with fades, they're going to struggle with slice shots with the driver, they may well struggle to strike it, they might hit a few pulls, but that's the pattern, okay? Now, when we move our path significantly to the left, what will often happen is the lowest point of that golf swing, so where the club bottoms out, moves closer to the target, okay? So if I just do a little demonstration from here, okay, I'll bring a golf ball in, and I'm just gonna take my setup with this ball perfectly in the middle of my stance, okay? I'm not suggesting that's what it needs to be for this club, but we're just gonna start with the ball in the middle. Okay, now, if I make a back swing, okay? And I move my hands out excessively, steepen the club shaft, and make a swing where the path is excessively left, you're gonna see that the club wants to bottom out much, much later in my golf swing, almost round here by my lead foot, okay? So if I did the opposite, if I went up to the top, and I created a downswing where the club was excessively from the inside, okay? My golf club is swinging way to the right of my target. You can see now that my club path is to the right and my club wants to bottom out very, very early. So if we imagine our golf swing as a big circle, okay? If we twist that circle, so twist it to the left or twist it to the right, the low points of that golf swing will change, okay? so. Let's say we've got a starting position, we've got a good ball position, we've got a nice setup, we're all balanced. This golfer makes their backswing and it moves out and a steep club shaft, their path is now left. We've just said that the club will bottom out later. So if I have this swing and I shift my weight, I am probably gonna find that I miss the golf ball or I top it because my golf club is going to be bottoming out probably six to eight inches later than the golf ball. Therefore, by the time the club reaches the ball, it hasn't reached its lowest point, we will top that golf ball, okay? So, what does that golfer need to do to make contact with the golf ball? They need to do one of two things. They need to either put the golf ball over here, okay? Because now, when I swing out and over to the left, where my club bottoms out and marries up where their ball is, that's the first thing they could do. But this is probably not gonna happen because golfers will straight away tell you, oh, your ball position is way too far forward. It needs to be middle of your stance. So what they do is they leave the ball in the middle of their stance. So if I've now got a golf swing where I'm coming out and over, okay, the over the top move, as many of you will know it, the club will bottom out later. So what do I have to do to strike the ball? I have to fall back so that my club meets the ball in some sort of fashion like this, 
Okay, so if my club will hit the ground later over here, I need to make sure the weight is on my back leg because now I can get the golf club to interact with the ball in some sort of consistent fashion. Okay, so for those of you who are feeling like you're falling back off the golf shot, okay, it may well be because that is the best option for you. If you have got this move where the club moves up and excessively out this way, falling back is probably the best thing for you to do from there. So when you put the golf ball and you try and move forward, hand-eye coordination is going to kick in and you're going to fall back just to make contact with that ball. Your body is not going to allow you to move forwards because if you move over the top and forwards, you're going to miss that golf ball or you're going to thin it or you're going to top it. So over the top often means a backup to sink the club and the ball at contact. Okay. So very, very often we get these golfers who are struggling to get the weight through and they're desperately trying to get the weight through and they just can't do it and they don't really understand why. They can make a practice swing, the weight goes through, as soon as you put the ball there, they struggle. And it's very often because this pattern happens. What we know is that very, very often a golf swing will have two faults to try and balance out. Okay? So if we have an over-the-top move, club bottoms out later, the fault that goes with that is hang back to now correct that fault. Okay? So we have to address two things. Okay? Those golfers need to try and work a little bit on delivery of the golf club because if the club gets into a better delivery position, they are now able to move that weight forward and strike the ball. Okay, so let me hit a couple, but hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. It might explain to some of you why you're getting stuck on that back leg and you just can't seem to fix it. Okay, so I've just got a mid iron here and I'm just gonna try and feel that my path is pretty good, maybe a little bit right, and that's gonna allow me to shift onto my lead foot better. Okay, and I'd be pretty happy with that. So comfortably got onto my lead side. But the easiest way to fade the ball, if I try and hit the biggest fade I can hit, you'll notice how I had to hang back to get some kind of contact. That's got a big, big fade on that golf ball. Because I moved the club out and over, I had to match that with a movement back away. Otherwise, I would have lost the strike completely. Okay, so it's understanding the patterns, understanding how Two faults often go together to create a functional golf shot for that golfer. So we can't just change one of those. We have to change both in order to progress and hit better golf shots. Okay, so hopefully that video made some sense. For those of you who maybe have this issue, it might mean that you've got a different route to improving that rather than just standing there trying to get the weight forward and just having no success. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. If you've got any comments, please post them in the boxes down below. Uh, it'd be good to hear your thoughts. If you did like the video, please click the like button as well. That helps me a lot. And if you haven't done already, then please subscribe to my channel. There is a link in the description box down below. It's absolutely free. It just means that you won't miss any of the content. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time.